An Englishman's home is his castle, so they say. Owning bricks and mortar means status and stability to most of us, so losing your house is one of the hardest pills to swallow. Mother of three with another on the way, Sarah Martin knows all too well the stress involved. She couldn't pay the mortgage after her husband left and was threatened with repossession. The worst thing in the world, um, especially for the children, that was my main thing. They were settled here um, and it's bad enough going through a divorce for the children. But then to have to give up your house, it was really stressful and really upsetting and I had nowhere else to turn to really. Sarah narrowly avoided repossession by selling to a property company and renting the house back from them. Agents like this say they've noticed a huge rise in this sort of business. The number of calls that we're getting. They've literally quadrupled over the last, this month. And we're getting calls before Christmas were t tailing off. And it's funny how debt seems to disappear at Christmas. Um, and now they've just increased. I mean, our website's showing probably a fourfold increase again. And it's here at Nottingham County Court that around 1,200 homeowners from the Nottingham area faced repossessions of their houses last year. Only today there have been more than 30 people appearing before district judges, some of them asking for more time to meet their mortgage repayments, others facing the final hurdle of a final notice of repossession or even notice of eviction. The Citizens Advice Bureau has also seen a rise in people struggling to pay the mortgage and says there are steps they can take. The first thing to do is to sit down and be real as to exactly where you are financially. Contact your creditors, whoever they may be, as soon as you get a problem. They will often deal very reasonably with you if you start talking to them sooner rather than later. Sarah Martin's hoping her new year will bring better financial stability as well as a new baby. But as the Christmas credit squeeze takes effect, hundreds of other families may not be so lucky. Emma Hill, East Midlands Today, Nottingham. Well, the extent of repossessions in Nottingham was revealed by the Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors. Earlier, we spoke to Chris Charlton. He's an estate agent in the city and a member of the Institute, and asked him what he put the rise down to. Well, I think the numbers on the face of it look quite alarming, and, and it's probably the third highest rise in the UK, which for Nottingham... In terms of running an estate agent, you know, I find very surprising. So I think certainly we're going to need to look into those figures and, and see why, why the percentage rise is so high. Of course, interest rates remained unchanged yesterday. Yes. How much do you worry that that's going to stoke this a rising level of repossessions? Yeah. I think certainly the credit crunch, people's ability to pay back mortgages is, is an issue. Um, the outlook for, for interest rates is that they will come down over the next 18 months, perhaps as low as 4%. Um, so from that point of view, people can look forward as long as society's passed the, the, the uh, cuts down, which they ha a number haven't done to date, uh, people will be paying less on their monthly payments for their mortgage. So that's good news coming, mm. uh, but obviously not from yesterday, so another month to wait, I'm afraid. And, and what advice would you give to anybody, you know, at the beginning of the year thinking, crikey, I can't, mm. you know, make my mortgage repayments yeah. here? It's a difficult time for everybody, having had Christmas and the credit card bills rolling in. Act early, talk to the building societies, the bank, they're there to help you. Um, they don't want to repossess your house at the end of the day. They're there to lend you money that you can hopefully pay back and pay their interest charges. So they're there to help, but act, act early. Talk to them quickly. So don't shove it under the carpet and just hope it'll go away. No, it won't go away. No. <laughs> Thank you very act. much for doing okay. coming in.